Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, my name is Reverend Dr. Benizam Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College at the Life Cathedral, the Zoe Chapel, and we meet on Sundays from 7 to 9, that's the first service, and from 10 to 12 in the second service. Um, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts on Simple steps to blessing. Simple steps to blessing. Simple steps to blessing. Now, in Genesis chapter 27, from 3 onwards, there is a very funny story going on over there, an interplay of some very weird uh, things going on over there. And that had to do with Isaac was old and he was blind and um, he had two sons, Esau and Jacob, Esau and Jacob. Now, the Bible said that um, it was not time for him. He thought that he needed to pass down the blessing. He needed to uh, bless them because he, was, he didn't have many years to live. So he wanted to do it by the laying on of hands and all those things. Then Isaac brought something up that really, really knocked me off my uh, spiritual high pedestal that I used to sit on, perch on. I mean, not always, please. But he said, bring me venison. He said, bring me venison that I may eat. And when my soul is satisfied, I will give you a blessing. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You bring me venison, bring me something. And the Bible says he, he really used to like the meat of Esau because of the way Esau prepares it, you know. I mean, uh, the spices that Esau uses or the way he does it. Well, I've been to some countries that the way they treat their meat, it's very, very exceptional. I'll give a shout out to my Brazilian friends, you know. Hey, Toro Ben. <laughs> but here, here's the principle. He said, Esau, I like the type of meat you prepare. And I like the way you do it. Bring me venison. That means bring me uh, meat um, from, bring me venison from your hunting system, from the, you stalking deer, hunting down, um, and bring me venison. And then when I eat it and my soul is satisfied, I'll give you a blessing. There are two things that, are, three things that sprung up at me. Venison, that bring me savory meat. Two, when my soul is satisfied. And then number three, the blessing. The first one I've explained, venison, meat from uh, a deer, meat from an antelope, whatever it is, meat from your hand, you bring it to me. But then he said, when my soul is satisfied, that's why I have a problem. Blessings are supposed to be a spiritual exercise. The transfer of anointing, the transfer of the grace upon your life to another person it's supposed to be a spiritual exercise because Paul wrote about it. And Paul said to Timothy, do not neglect the gift that was, that was entrusted to you, that was given to you by the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. So I thought that it's, it's a spiritual transaction. So look at what Isaac is saying. He said, when my soul, now you must understand, the man is made, man is made up of body, soul, and spirit. We get the word body from the Greek word bias. We get the word a soul from the Greek word psyche, from which we get the word psychology and all those other things. And then we get the spirit, which is different. So the, when my soul is satisfied, now a blessing, like an inheritance blessing, impartation of, of grace, impartation of anointing, impartation of, of what Isaac carried, the blessing, the grace upon Isaac's life, the, it was going to be by the conduct of, 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 it was a mental exercise for him. And the premise for that impartation was for me bribery. But it wasn't bribery. He said, when my soul is satisfied, I will give you a blessing. That means do something and make me happy. And I'll, imp I'll give you an impartation. I will speak into your life. I will bless you for generations that is supposed to come. 
So here's the thing. It is not always uh, uh, the, the impartation or, or whatever with the exchange, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the extension of grace that we, we give to people. It's not always sometimes just because of prayer or fasting, but sometimes it is satisfying the soul of the person who will give you a blessing. It is satisfying the After all, Abraham, Abraham gave Melchizedek something. Melchizedek blessed him. So guess what? Blessing is not just by prayer. Je blessing is not by naming and claiming it. Sometimes the pathway to blessings is dependent upon you. There are some father figures. You doing something that will please them. You doing something that will, that will give them a solace satisfaction. And then they will speak. And that thing they speak releases a spiritual blessing that will affect your future and generations after you. Wow. Bring me venison that I may eat when my soul is satisfied. So sometimes God has given people spiritual oversight over us. God has appointed people who speak into our lives daily. And sometimes we blessing them and then they opening their mouth to release blessings upon us. It's a spiritual process. And God honors it. Even to the extent that when Esau, I mean, I, uh, Jacob, I mean, kind of swerved uh, Esau. And then when Esau came, and Isaac said, I've already given it to Jacob. He, he said, no, no, bless me too. Then he said, go and bring me venison. Bring me venison again. Wow. So you see, spiritual impartation is not always because of our prayer and our fasting. But spiritual impartation is also, is also acquired, number one, by service. And number two, by a gift or a blessing you take to a big person, a man of God. A man's gift will make room for him, says the Bible. So you know what? Look for somebody who has spiritual oversight over you. Don't forget me. <laughs> That's just a joke. But be a blessing to somebody with spiritual oversight over you. Simple steps to a blessing. See you later.